Welcome back to CBM at Sunrise. Now I have Andy Ballantyne and Alicia Brown. They're here and they're going to tell us about their art and they've been using it for a noble cause. Now they will be showcasing their work at the Pegasus Gallery tomorrow and a portion of the profit that they will make will aid in the, in the development of a Spanish town library. Welcome to CBM at Sunrise to both of you. Thank you Thank so you. much for coming. Thanks for having me. You in the Christmas spirit? <laughs> Come Hi. on. Not entirely. Just cool. the charity <laughs> aspect though, right? right? Which is what I say I love about Christmas. Exactly. All right, tell me a little bit more about your artwork. We're seeing some beautiful pieces here in the front, and I'm actually seeing a light bulb. Is this your work, Alice? This is my work. Okay, tell us a little bit more about it. It's not necessarily a light bulb, mm -hmm. but it's more um, this experimental object. And I'm dealing with issues of identity in the pieces, things that people are not necessarily comfortable talking about, and things that you don't necessarily see on the surface. Okay. It's more about the unconscious world. Um, and as I said earlier, highlighting identity issues. Mm -hmm. It's about going beyond what you think is there. So basically, um, this is an internal representation of this person. So right. an internal portrait then. Exactly. Okay, very interesting. A different concept. Thank to go you. by, it does definitely stands out. You tell me, Mr. Valentine, about your work. Uh, my what? own is the, um, the still life and okay. the lamps. Yes. Uh, the bottle lamps. All right. And I like to paint fruits because it gives me that eating joy feeling. Eating joy feeling. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you're so skinny. <laughs> right. Anyway, um, this show now, we're having a show tomorrow at the Pegasus. It's called Passion, and it will be opened by, the, by Marcia Forbes. Mm -hmm who is um, the guest speaker. Right. And we are trying to give, him, give back to the Spanish Town High School art, um, library it's department, library. some books and stuff like that. So basically, we just want person to come out and just support the exhibition, buy a couple pieces or buy some lamps. You keep saying bye-bye. How much these things cost? Or what kind of price range are you looking at? No, very reasonable. <laughs> exactly. Um, recession <laughs> price. Recession price? Yeah. So like this one right here, if I wanted to buy this right now. No, that is not my own. You have to ask Alice. Well, uh, that one is will maybe go for about thirty thousand dollars. Very, very, very reasonable. <laughs> right. That can buy a lot of books though. That's the thing. Um, yeah, we can buy a lot of right. books. And 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 we want to give back to Spanish town. Mm -hmm. Because it's our community, it's our town. Tell me more about that, where you came from and why you thought of this initiative. Well, the thing is that I'm a teacher, I'm an art teacher at Spanish Town High okay. and it's always difficult to get information, even though we have the internet, it's very difficult to get information, particularly on Jamaican art. Mm -hmm. And uh, I recently saw where Barrington Watson launched his new book. So, you know, the idea came to me, you know what? We could get some art books on Jamaican artists, put mm -hmm. it in the library. Students will have more access to that. Yeah, and a day out at the gallery is always fun. I just want to remind everybody that it's at 7 p.m. Right. It's tomorrow. It's at the Jamaica Pegasus. Um, you guys can, you want to give them some of your phone numbers. It's 926-3691 if you want to call for more information. Right. That's the gallery. And, and um, yeah? we're giving away a painting on Facebook. So we like to um, announce the, the, the winner for the painting. The winner is um, Nicarama Edwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to tell him? You can look there and see it. Yeah, the winner is <laughs> for, for the Facebook painting is Nicarama Edwards. And we, we want to give thanks um, to art to go to support supporting the art that we can be able to give back to, to the community. Okay, sounds excellent. Um, I, as I said before, I do like initiatives like this because I do believe Christmas is about charity. It's about giving, you know, mm -hmm. and you guys are putting your hard work into something to make um, a, be a better community for, for the people in Spanish Town. So if you guys want to support, you need to support, just check out the Jamaica Pegasus. That's tomorrow, it's at 7 p.m. Um, they can get tickets there, correct? No, it's not about tickets. You um, just come and buy. Right. You just you come, come and buy. You the show. And bring your money. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, bring some money, please. But can they pay? That's a good question, though. Can they be pay with credit cards? And you can pay with right. everything. Credit everything card, check. check, anything. anything. Just come and support the show. All right. So, so bring we can your, give back your cash, your credit cards, and your right. checks, and come and support. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Merry Thank Christmas you. to you all. Same to you. Happy New Year. <laughs> all right, we take a break. When we come back, it's Fresh Meat with Electro. Electro will be right with us when we come back. Stay with us.
Welcome back to CBM Mat Sunrise. As promised, we have our fresh meet here this morning. He goes by the name of Electro, whose aim is to make it in the music industry. And we're going to find out by what means. Welcome and morning. Thank, thank you for coming this yeah, morning. Thank you for having me, Austin. All right, so you're sitting here with Muta. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Great man. And no one with man. Like, them say fresh meat. They just come out of the seat. You like that already, fresh meat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not.